Meet Alex. Right now, Alex is making a choice that will bring him in contact with the police or a school resource officer. We're going to learn about what happens after you are referred to a juvenile court diversion program. Mark is the youth program coordinator in the community Alex lives in. He receives the referral for Alex and calls Alex's parents to make an intake appointment. When Alex and his parents come in for the intake, Alex is given an SBIRT assessment to complete. SBIRT stands for Screening and Brief Intervention and Referral to Treatment. This tool helps Mark understand if there are significant substance use or mental health issues happening to Alex. Mark asks Alex and his parents a great deal of questions around the topics of family dynamics, mental health, substance use, school performance, interests, activities, free time interests, relationships, personal goals, and past history with the police. The victim has the opportunity to be involved and to fill out an impact statement. In this case, Jeff, the store owner, chooses to participate. Jeff indicates what sort of damages Alex's actions caused, and he makes recommendations for restitution. A summary of this conversation is shared with a panel of community volunteers who meet with Alex. The alleged facts about the case and the victim's impact statement are also read out aloud in this meeting. The volunteers then have a candid discussion with Alex and his parents to get a better understanding of the circumstances that led to his actions. They then develop a contract and explain what Alex has to do to succeed in the program and how long he has to do it. This contract usually has a number of steps which can include community service and is specifically tailored to repair harm. Over the next few weeks, Alex works on his contract and the volunteers monitor his progress. Finally, with the contract completed, Alex is called in for a final meeting. A goal of the intervention is to also build up the youth, especially if they've done reflection on what has transpired. If Alex had not completed his contract and met all his obligations, he could be referred back to the police for action through the court system. However, in this case, Alex has satisfied the volunteers who will close his case and sends out the paperwork to referral sources recommending that no further action is needed.